Okay, for this video, we're going to tie the X caddis. I know there's a number of variations of the X caddis out there. The one that I tie is relatively simple. And I like to fish this fly beneath a, as a dropper, actually beneath the, an elk hair caddis. They generally end up both being dry flies, but this seems to really get the fish's attention and uh, I really like fishing with it, so I tie a lot of these. So to start off with the X caddis, um, hook that I'm using is a size 14 2 by long dry fly hook. And uh, start off with, we'll just get the thread on there. So get the thread to the back of the hook and snip the excess. Then I like to use it, I have to put a tail in there and the tail that I'm going to use is going to be orange. This is orange and Tron wool. Uh, I use a number of different colors. Sometimes I use cream, sometimes I use a lighter, almost yellowish color, uh, white. But I like something that's got a little bit of contrast from the body of the fly. The body of this fly, we're gonna use an olive, a little bit lighter olive color. So I uh, just like to have a contrast in colors. So I'm gonna tie this Antron wool in just like this. Notice I've left quite a bit up here. What I'm going to do is just going to wrap forward on that up towards the head of the fly. So I get to the front, and we're just gonna come right back. So, and to add just a little bit of, a little bit of flash or sparkle, whatever you would like to call it, I am going to tie in just one little piece of, uh, I think this is called some sparkle flash or something like that. It, I just tie in one strand, it's a, relatively long strand, but we'll snip that along with the tail here in a second. So, Okay, so I don't want this tail to be quite this long, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to snip it about right there. I like to make it about the same length as the shank of the hook. So there we go. Now the next step is we're going to put some dubbing on this fly. The dubbing that I'm going to use is some olive dubbing, a little bit lighter olive. Probably see it a little bit. I'm going to place that on the thread here and we'll run that up towards the front of the fly. And when I Attach dubbing to the thread. I always like to twist in the same direction. Helps keep that dubbing attached and fastened nice and tightly to the thread. I'm going to slide that down to right there. And we'll uh, wrap this dubbing forward. One of the looks that I go for is I like to see the profile of this fly generally get thicker as I move the body forward. So you'll notice I'm trying to increase the size of the body as we bring the dubbing towards the head of the fly. So that looks pretty good. There we go. Okay, last step is I'm going to add in some elk hair. So I'm just gonna grab normal natural colored elk hair, get a little pinch. Uh, about the same amount of elk hair that I like to use for an elk hair caddis this size would be, this, would be the amount that I would use for this one. So I'm going to try to get some of that fuzzy, fuzzy stuff out of there. I like to clean that out a little bit. Sometimes I'll use my scissors and kind of needle nose scissors and just kind of poke it out of there. Get that stuff out of there so we can get the, the thicker elk hair fibers only. Place it in the hair stacker. Okay, looks pretty good. Once I have all the elk hair stacked nicely, take that, I'm gonna place it so if the elk hair sticks about the same length back as the, the bend in the hook. And once I have it where I want it, I'm going to fasten it down with my left hand. Get a couple of soft wraps, and then once I get those on there, then I pull tight. You'll notice that elk hair flares a little bit. And then once I get it to flare, then I just wrap back towards the back of the hook every wrap successively next to the next consecutive wrap next to the other one 
working my way back till I feel I've got it fastened. Once I've done that, then I wrap a couple more wraps forward up to the front. So there we go. Okay, so that's what we want. We want this elk hair, and this is the stuff we're going to get rid of in the front. So I'm going to try to try to bunch all of that up. Take my scissors and snip it just like that. So, all right. And then the last step, I got a couple of flyers down there beneath the eye. I'm going to snip those. There we go. Okay, my last step is I'm going to whip finish this. So I'll use the whip finisher here. All right, so that was it. That's the X Caddis, and uh, really just a couple of materials to tie this fly. And I like to have contrasting colors on the tail versus the body, and the tail is about the same length as the body. So there it is. Kind of a bottom view.